everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, hello! And if you're not, thank you for coming back. So this video is a continuation of part one, what's on my bookshelf, a Christian book haul. So here's part two. Girl Defined by Kristen Clark and Bethany Baird. This book is about God's radical design for beauty, femininity, and identity. When I was at a conference with Winter, these girls were also speaking at the same, it was a convention with Winter. These girls were actually speaking at the same convention and their table was near Winter's tables. Winter got a book for Alina. I just got a book as well to support. But I've, since I've been following the girls and their ministry, Girl Defined. Bethany and Kristen, their sisters. I also have this book, The Fear of the Lord, Discover the Keys to Intimately Knowing God. Um, I believe it's important that we grow in fear of God every day. And it's not a fear of like, whoo, it's reverence, respect, humility, growing in deep respect and honor for God, having that deep respect and reverence for him as you go about life and as you grow in your faith. So that's what this book is about. John Gray, um, this is his newest book, When From Within. Finding Yourself by Facing Yourself. That says enough. And I also have his book, I Am Number Eight. A friend of mine has that right now, but this book came out at the end of last year, When From Within. Finding Yourself by Facing Yourself. Ooh. I'm sure you've heard of this book by Devon Franklin and Megan Good. A powerful practice for finding the love of your life in the life you love. Listen, so if you don't know about their story, a well-known couple who waited to have sex until marriage. So this book is all about the power of waiting to have sex until marriage, but not just that, living the life you love and finding the love of your life. I recommend it the way. She is yours, trusting God as you raise the girl he gave you. This is by Jonathan and Winter. They gave me this book while I was in Texas, but if you have daughters or know someone who has a daughter, this is all about trusting God as you raise the girl he gave you. So yes, I recommend any book by Jonathan Winter Pitts. All right, ooh, this one by Jamie Ivey. If only you knew my unlikely, unavoidable story of becoming free. This book is amazing. No one is perfect. We've all struggled with something. We all struggle with something. We're all working towards perfection in Christ. Jamie Ivey wrote about some of those things in her life that people didn't know about hence the title of only you knew but it's how she got free from it and how you can break free from those things as well and not be ashamed and not live in guilt or regret so i definitely recommend this book i got this um last summer jamie ivy is an amazing person as well winter knew her so that's how i came to know jamie ivy so if only you knew is another great book i love these two books these are i wouldn't say these are books that you just sit down and read maybe like well, I guess you can. It's up to you, but it has different stories. It's called Jesus Freaks. This one is Live Life Like a Jesus Freak. This one is just Jesus Freaks. I forgot his name, but a well-known Christian artist came together with some people to start this um, book series. It's all about martyrs in the world. I've read some of these stories and just cried. It's all about their stories and how they still went hard for Christ in the midst of persecution and how they still had their faith and strong faith and stood firm in the faith in the midst of persecution or in the midst of loss or trial adversity. I hands down recommend getting these books. Either Live Like a Jesus Freak or Jesus Freaks. I forgot which one came first. I believe this one did in the second but I recommend both. These books will definitely have your fire ignited and encourage you to go hard for Christ no matter what. Francis Chan is a pastor. I love Francis Chan. I have three of his books. Lost Supply is all about disciples making disciples. This is a two-in-one, but I also have the book by itself. Crazy Love, Overwhelmed by a Relentless God, and then Forgotten God, Reversing Our Tragic Neglect of the Holy Spirit. I recommend both of these. I love, especially Crazy Love. Like this will just make you be like, dang, God loves me so much. If you are someone that is in ministry, I recommend Multiply. It's because it's all about going after people and sharing your faith and sharing the gospel. Forgotten God is all about coming back to enhancing your relationship with Christ. If you feel like you drifted or feel distant, Forgotten God is for you. Crazy Love, if you just need to recognize how much and understand how much God loves you, crazy love let's go let's go let's go let's go oh my gosh i have so much more what is god's will for my life it's a little short book if you don't know what god's plan or purpose is for you this will help you come to know it and i mean it's not just gonna straight out tell you but it's gonna help you come to learn how to discover it and it's by john ortberg john ortberg this is called the treasure principle discovering the secret of joyful giving by randy alcorn I recommend this book is all about giving and being a giver. The Master Plan of Evangelism. So you will find that I have those books that are like 
deep theology <laughs> ministry and evangelism because I plan to get my master's in Christian studies so some of these books I generally want it because I just wanted to you know ministry is my passion that's what I want to do for life I want to bring people closer to God and share the gospel you're in ministry it's by Robert Coleman um, the master plan of evangelism this is a great one for you this is a book that I got from the Salvation Army for a dollar are you out there God abandoned and lost in a world of sex abuse and terror desperate kids turn to their last hope pleading are you out there God hmm. by sister Mary Rose Maggetti haven't read this book but I got it I got it for a reason I guess um, yes heaven awaits how do I get to heaven if you are not sure about your faith or you know someone that's starting off in their faith or they may not you know be a believer yet this is a great book for them it just talks about salvation and how we get to heaven these two books my sweet cousin Aaliyah got me um the Esther anointing and the Deborah anointing Esther and Deborah are two well-known women in the Bible and it's all about their life so the Esther anointing is about becoming a woman of prayer courage and influence the Deborah anointing is embracing the call to be a woman of wisdom and discernment. So if you want to be a woman of prayer, courage, and influence, the Esther anointing, a woman of wisdom and discernment, the Deborah anointing. And they're by Michelle McLean Walters. Thank you, Aaliyah, for these books because I still love them. My brother Dex and Candace, in Christ and through spiritual adoption, they're also Miss Davis' kids, the one who wrote Victoria's Disciples. Um, what is a Healthy Church member? They recommended this book to me and they also gave me this book. I have not read it yet, but it's on my like books to read within the next couple of months because I'm sorting out how I'm going to read these books within this year. I'm trying to be more intentional in reading. So I plan to read this soon. What is a Healthy Church member? From what they told me, they believe every Christian should have on their bookshelf. So yes, there it is. He Restores My Soul by Lynn Johnson. I met Miss Lynn and I love her so much. I met her through my former supervisor who's also another mentor of mine, Billy. Um, Lynn Johnson has a nonprofit called Gathering Friends for TLC. This book is all about how she lost her daughter who was around my age, I think 22 or 23 or something, lost her daughter in a car accident and just her process of healing through that so he restores my soul this is a great book look to see if it's on amazon or if you search gathering friends for tlc see if you can find it on that website if not send me a message or a comment below if you're interested and i can tell you exactly where to get it emotional purity and affair of the heart this is for christian singles my friend destiny who's also miss davis daughter <laughs> recommended this book to me on the back it says have you ever given your heart to someone who didn't love you back do you feel like you've experienced heartache over and over again using fictional real life examples the authors outline the pitfalls of undefined relationships and present guidelines for living an emotionally pure life. The 40 day surrender fast. Listen, this is a powerful fast. It's a guide for releasing your plan, renewing your mind and restoring your life by Dr. Celeste Owens. Comment below if you're interested in this. I can also tell you directly where to get it because I'm not sure if it's on Amazon. It might be, but it's called the 40 day surrender fast. We're almost done y'all. So there's a book called Emotionally Healthy Spirituality. This is the, I have the book, but this is the workbook for it. So this book is all about how it's impossible to be spiritually mature while remaining emotionally immature. That's deep, right? So it's all about growing spiritually and saying no to your emotions and growing in your maturity of your emotions. You don't have to get the course book, but the book itself is great. Let's just quickly get into my theology books. They're not just theology books for like people that are, you know, trying to be pastors or things like that. Like, no, you can still read these books. It will just give you a deeper and enhance your understanding about God and his word. If you want to have a deeper understanding about God, which I believe it's every Christian's goal and desire to do so, or it should be, these books are for you as well. These two books are also by Tony Evans. They're heavy big books. This is The Kingdom Agenda, and this one is Theology You Can Count On. Experiencing what the Bible says about God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, angels, salvation, the church, the Bible, and the last things. So this really just goes into it all. Um, so I definitely recommend these two. But again, they're not like the, some of the books you just read here. This will just really give you a deeper understanding on God's word and who God is and enhance your knowledge on, on him. This is a book that I just purchased as well. It's called Sex in a Broken World. How Christ Redeems What Sin Distorts. So I love having those 
hard conversations that aren't really had in church or, or on a public platform but need to be had at certain times because it's things that people struggle with for example sex i have a video on my youtube channel called the untold truth about sex that i encourage you to watch but i plan to do a bible study series on this with my nonprofit. so i wanted to get this book to go deeper into how to talk through um talk about sex and God's views on sex and not just that but this book points us to the only place we can find help for sexual brokenness the transforming grace of Jesus Christ so if you know someone that's struggling living in sexual sin or yeah living in sexual sin recommend this you can't really see it huh recommend this book to them it's by Paul David Tripp and even if you're not struggling in sexual sin I still think this is a great book to read so you can be educated and have an understanding on it so you can help someone else who may be or someone who may come across your path that is struggling in that sin because there is hope all right jackie hill perry listen if you have not heard of jackie hill perry just look her up on youtube right now just type in jackie hill perry so this is her newest book gay girl good guy I've been trying to get this book for some time now just because I love Jackie Hill Perry and her passion for Christ. So in quotes she says, I used to be a lesbian but now she's married with two beautiful children. So this is all about her story and that but the cover, the title alone is <laughs> just like boom, gay girl, good guy. And then on the back literally just says, I used to be a lesbian. So read in order to understand, read in order to hope, or read in order like Jackie to be made new. So gay girl, good guy, listen, when I read this, I will do a review on it, but I am so excited to get into this. I might just read this book next or something, but gay girl, good guy by Jackie Hill Perry. I recommend it just because I heard great things about it so far. Even if you don't identify as a homosexual, because I don't, I'm still reading it. It's all about being made new through Christ. I love Sarah Jakes Roberts. She is T.D. Jakes' daughter, who's also a world-renowned pastor and preacher. But this is her book, Lost and Found, Finding Hope in the Detours of Life. I identify with Sarah Jakes Roberts in this book alone so much. This book, like, I just highlighted so much and wrote so many notes on the side. But listen, all I'm going to say is you need to get this book, Lost and Found. I also have a book by her sister, Cora Jakes Coleman. My mom got me this book for Christmas. It's called Faithing It. Bringing Purpose Back to Your Life. This book is all about discovering how to take the very storms that try to destroy you and turn them into stepping stools to promote you to your divine purpose. Faith and Get by Cora Jakes Coleman. You should get it. Heather Lindsay, I have her book, Dusty Crowns, Dusting Yourself Off from the Inside Out, Eliminating the Distractions and Becoming the Woman God Called You to Be. Heather Lindsay is the founder of Pinky Promise, a national nonprofit organization, but it's also a bomb ministry. Okay, so this book is called Exploring Christian Theology, Volume 1. It says, so the author explores important topics in a concise and highly readable style that makes sense whether you're a student of the Bible, a pastor, or someone who simply wants to know God better. So I was accepted into Dallas Theological Seminary in December of 2017, and I was going to start last year to get a master's in Christian studies. So the school actually sent me this book for, as a congrats for getting into the school. I have not read it yet, but I believe, you know, I'm looking forward to reading it if you are someone again in ministry a pastor or someone who just wants to go deeper into god's word or wants to know god better check out this book i also have this book that my cousin gave me formation for christian ministry it's all about forming a christian ministry so this is more so for like a leader or someone who wants to start a ministry lead in a church things of that nature this is by ann davis and wade rowat jr Information for Christian ministry. Now I also just got this book as well. I got a few copies of this book, but it's called Love and Respect, The Love She Most Desires, The Respect He Desperately Needs. Dr. Emerson Egerix, Egerix, I believe. I heard great things about this book. My sweet friend Chloe told me that she and her husband read it and it was amazing for their relationship. So I wanted to read it myself. I also have the book Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman, The Secret to Love That Lasts. Listen, I recommend this book for everyone. There's the five love languages for men, for women, for singles. It has for teens. Okay, now to go into some Christian fiction that I love. This book is, is kind of Christian fiction. And it's 
fiction and non-fiction at the same time but this is called really bad girls of the bible more lessons from less than perfect women by liz curtis higgs i love this book i recommend this book for any woman as well my passion is ministry just helping women grow in their walk with christ so that's another reason why i got this book just to learn about women in the bible she squeezes out the lessons from different women's lives in the bible so i say it's fiction non-fiction because it might be a little dramatized a little bit but it's still true you still get the whole picture of what's happening in the bible and then she'll stop telling the, the story will cut and then she'll go into like she's talking to you so it's kind of like a lifestyle help book but it also has some bible stories from women in the bible i recommend it really bad girls of the bible listen now my friends know my close friends know because i say it all the time when i get to heaven paul and i are gonna be homies i love paul his story is just amazing he went from killing christians killing like just hating christians hating the gospel killing any christian in his sight to being one of the biggest and baddest ministers for christ the whole transformation that god had over his life is listen amazing so this is um a novel this is a fictional approach as well it's kind of like fiction uh, so if you were to read it don't expect it to just be straight 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 bible I mean, it is Bible, but there's, again, some dramatization going on in there. Um, but it's all about Paul, a novel. My Aunt Jackie told me about this book and got it for me. The Shack by Paul Young. If you haven't seen the movie The Shack, you should. It's a great movie. I haven't read the book. I heard that the book was better than the movie, which is often the case. So I'm excited to get into the book, but this is just the book The Shack. This is my favorite fiction author, Stacey Hawkins Adams. She's a beautiful African-American woman who writes African-American fiction, Christian fiction. And these are different, these are parts of different series. Um, like these two are part of a series, these are part of a series, well these are part of a series, there's a series for this book and then this is a series as well but I love Stacey Hawkins Adams so I just encourage you to look up Stacey Hawkins Adams, go to her website because all of these books are listed on there but I love these books so much. I love, love, love these books. So this is an illustrated Bible dictionary by Stephen Millers. For those who thought they'd never read a Bible dictionary, that's what it's called. I really love this. It's has pictures inside and makes things clear i believe this is a great tool to have if you're doing a bible study or you just want to go deeper in god's word so this book is called where to find it in the bible the ultimate a to z resource fully illustrated by ken anderson this doesn't have pictures like the last one but it's still it's like for real like a for real real dictionary anything you can think of it's in this dictionary here and it tells you where to find it in the bible Whew, y'all, so we got through all of the books. <laughs> Thank you so much for sticking with me in this video. If you haven't watched part one, it's linked in my bio below. But outside of that, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below. And please share with me, what are some books that you love? What are some Bible studies that you love? I'm always taking book recommendations. So if you have some books in your library that you think I might love, which I'm sure I will, please leave a comment below. Other than that, I will talk to you next time. Bye.